We go again. This time we're not playing Gage, though. I think it might be time for a little bit of Gunzerk for our lives. It's either going to be Gunzerk or Krieg. Let's go Krieg. Let's go Melee Krieg. I haven't gotten, I haven't done a Melee Krieg playthrough since like the very early days. That being said, that is a three-way Hulk. <laughs> I always end up switching out to a reload explosive damage build. But this time, this time I'm committed. What a melee shield. Uh, trash. All trash. And despite, despite this weapon being bladed, it actually does less melee damage than Kree standard melee scaling because Borderlands 2 makes zero sense. Alright. Iridium me. I mean, we'll take a max health relic, why not? Let's go. Washburn Refinery Stage 1 is going to be pretty tough because there are going to be two different enemies in this stage that one-shot me. Yeah, these guys are annoying, but let's take some points into Empty the Rage. Let's not freak out. Stun them and gun them. Get the full, get the full heal. All right, relax, brother. Mm. EXP loaders all around. Couple of stuns. Walk forward, walk back. These are free kills. Oh, by free, I mean not free at all. I'm really low health now. All right, walk forward, walk back. I gotta make sure I have my, my launcher ready. My launcher's in slot four, I'm good. I didn't take a shield or a grenade. That's crazy, a little bit risky. All right, so this is where I'm. This is where I'm nervous right here. After the EXP loaders do their thing. Oh gosh, I'm gonna start getting some more difficult loaders to deal with. And I'm already at one HP. It's just like this, I'm nervous now. But maybe I can get my my Buzz Axe Rampage back and kill this guy. No, what a waste of Buzz Axe Rampage. What's up, WWE fan? Oh, yeah. Melee shield, melee shield, melee shield. Get hit, brother. This is going to be a tough round one. Tough round one. So I have no way to heal back up, really. Okay. Kill this guy. My launcher. When in doubt, launcher out. Hide. Okay, I need... Oh, I'm down. Okay, that's just fine though. This one's this one's much better. Was that rampage? Gun loader. Come on, get this kill. Get full healed. Finally, let's go. All right. The further along we get, the the better off we're going to be. Let's take. Let's take fuel the rampage. Let's take fuel the rampage to get my boss X rampage back more often. This melee shield is better. We're gonna take that one. Good. We got ourselves a melee shield. Now what are we looking for? We're looking for a a slag ruby. God, yeah, don't worry, don't worry, WWE fan. We are going to beat those dragons, whether whether they like it or not. I just lost a gauge run, which is which was sad, but it is what it is. Let's see. Rock pound shock I I do have synergies with shotguns, and this game just dropped me. How many shotguns? Four? Okay. Let's do... Is this better than my Hulk? Let's see. Oh, wow, that is way better than my Hulk. Good. We want a Street Sweeper. Maybe we do. Now, I've been told... I have been told that my... When I throw my axes on Buzzax Rampage, that that counts that it's coded as pistol. Bandit pistol. So if I can increase my band like pistol fire rate. Oh, double suplex, new head. Let's go. I'll definitely be putting that on if it looks any if it looks decent at all. <laughs> yeah, give me a good shotgun and I will swap. It's true. But okay. Okay. The reason being is is this skill right here, assault the wound. Taking damage from an enemy while your shield is down 
which we're we have synergies with because we actually want our shield to be down as long as possible in Krieg, and we have skills to make it come back less often. Taking damage while my shield is down adds adds a stack of salt the wound, increasing melee and shotgun damage for each stack accrued. And I'm the only character in the game with this sort of uh, explicit shotgun synergy. On top of that, shotguns, I mean, the fact that you can get times three and times four shotguns is kind of ridiculous. Like, watch. Like, this is, I have nothing, I have nothing in my kit right now that's buffing up these shotguns, and I'm going to wreck these uh, skags for this thing. Not, not the rabbit skags, but these other ones. Okay, you know what? Let's just get into our melee form. Let's go, rabbit skags. Me against you. Oh, you don't want this work. Trust. Mmm. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, here we go. What's up, WW? Yeah, you like this mod so much, too. I love this mod so much, too. I heard that it works on Steam Deck. Someone told me it works on Steam Deck. Where, so if, you, if you're if you a mobile Andy and you got a Steam Deck, then... You can play. Let's take this green power up. I no, I'm gonna I'm gonna be good. I'm gonna use it for next stage. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna use it for next stage. Alrighty. Yeah, I just feel like shotguns just have so much like power compared to other weapons in the game. Just me though. At least for like standard. I mean, there are some there are some decent like sni the Snyder's decent for snipers. The uh, Anarchist is this decent for pistols. If I could hit a shot, though. Oh, here we go. Some class mods. Good. I need a better class mod. Right now, I've got one that gives me, like, <laughs> a kill skill duration. Which I don't have I don't have any kill skills, so I'm getting no benefit from it. Alright, that's all of them gone. Uh, a melee damage class mod would go crazy. Plus five sounds to voices, plus... Yeah, here we go. Yeah, I haven't run... I have not run a melee damage Krieg in a long time. So I was thinking about this the other day when I was driving to my fiance's house, and I realized that Krieg... The t other t there's two DLC characters, right? Krieg is the one who depends a lot on his capstones. Blood Splosion is one of the most powerful skills in the entire game. Release the Beast is one of the most game-changing skills in the entire game. And Braving Retribution does so, so much damage. Like, Krieg is really, really dependent on the capstones of his trees. Meanwhile, Gage does not have a single capstone that is, like, like, very good at all. Like, it feels like when they design the two characters, they designed them to be kind of polar opposites. One to be the, the capstone reliant Andy, and one to not care about capstones at all. Which I think is kind of cool. When the when the two characters came oh is that a yeah i mean these pressure plates i've been farming them up more and more often just because i've been getting as i've gotten more knowledge of what types of weapons are good with what kinds of parts the the pressure plates have been getting more and more value the blue capstone for gauge is your favorite that's the one where you shoot death trap with an element and he gets infused with that element to me that seems good for if you can slag him but beyond that i'm not sure how good it is like but e either way like it's it's nowhere near as good let's take feed the meat it's more max health oh that's a waste i'll be fine i'll get it back next round can i i, I am playing krieg which means i can't jump as high Un, a little known fact is that Krieg actually weighs more than the other characters, and it's not because he's bigger, even though he is. It's because he's a melee-based character, and a, when you get into melee range of enemies, they are way more likely to melee you, and they also have knockback. And so when they first designed Krieg, it was really frustrating for players. Did I really use this green power-up on the best one? No, I didn't. All right, let's go green power-up me. Don't hide in that stage, brother. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's a nice little rogue lance bug right there. Go, go down. Come out from the wall. Run across, but I still have this buff. It's already gone. I only got one kill with it. It wasn't even worth saving. 
I'm a Salman, so it don't matter that much. Well, being a, if, if you're a Salman, brother, it, you're a certain kind of lad, tell you what. Salvador being the most powerful character in the game. However, I was thinking about if I were to make a Rogue Lance tier list, who I would put number one, and I honestly, I wouldn't put Sal number one. I really wouldn't. I think Sal is good, but he... To really make to really make use of Sal, he's gear dependent, very gear dependent. Like in, in your left hand, you really want something with very high crit, or uh, or a slag moxie weapon. But you really aren't getting very many slag moxie weapons in general. I'm not gonna make that jump, am I? No, I'm not. That's okay. I didn't want to make that jump anyway. Get over here, brother. So watch as you get into melee range, these guys. Oh, I'm in trouble now. There's nobody around, and I'm 1 HP. I'm fine. Nothing to worry about here. Yeah, I think he's definitely, like, yeah. That's where I would put him. Probably third to fourth. I actually... Okay, in my opinion, I've only ever won this mod three times, okay? All the way to the end, three times. And two of them have been with Gage. One of them has been with Zero. So, oh, that's a, that's a, that's a slag droog. Slag droogs go crazy. So I honestly put Gage number one. I was shocked when I didn't win that last run. Terra Morphous slapped me like seven times in a row. I don't know what that was all about. Usually Terra doesn't slap you that many times. Must be something I don't know. Let's see, some relics. Cooldown rates or override cooldown rate? What's my current one? A current relic is max health. Max health is better. That being said, yeah, max health is better. Come on, how about a loot? loot? Oh, let's get some HP back. Just in case I run into something I don't want to die to. So I would probably put Gage number one, Maya number two, Sal number three, Zero number four, Axe the number five, Krieg number six. As I'm playing Krieg, but you know what, whatever. Let's take some points into Salt the Wound. Next next up is Salt Silence the Voices. In the base game, Salvador is so much fun with rocket jumping and infinite money shot in this in the save quit DPS bug. What's up, Slipper Rick? Yeah, money shot chaining is a really fun mechanic, especially because of the sounds like tink, 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 and like you just watch everything die. All right, here we go. Melee damage is reduced for this one, but... Oh, we don't get sounds to the voices with this one. No, 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 no. No, we want sounds to the voices for sure. I mean, for, for, one, for one round, though, this one's better. One round. Let's go next. After this round, we'll switch over to Sounds the Voices. All right, Oni, come on, homie. Oni, come on, homie. You're gone. Oh my gosh, you didn't die. Here we go, a little range for your life. Lunatic Bombers are going to be a little bit messy for me. Not bad. Eat some shotgun ammo with Salt the, uh, salt the Wound now, so my, I have shotgun ammo or shotgun damage. 13 stacks of salt the wound, and I believe, I believe it's two, two shotgun. Oh, it's 5% per stack. So if I can get 20 stacks, it's 100% shotgun damage. That's actually, that's actually pretty enormous. All right, I'm going to want a buzz axe rampage here, probably. Oh, Oni's already out. Oh, that's, oh man, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble now. Toss a grenade, toss a grenade, and run for my life. I also need to unbind. I need to make sure that my my uh, my reload button is on the right key because I was playing gauge. Here we go. Loon take bomber. Walk forward so the grenade doesn't kill me. Huge. Now what? Oh, what I do have. What I do have for Oni that I forgot that I had is this is this slag droog. Run! 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 I'm gonna take bomber. You're gonna die. Huge. I right, here comes Oni. Oh, 
Very nice. If you want to stay right there, friend, I'm down for that. Stay outside of his effective range. Stay away from any barrels. And go for crits. He's going to charge eventually. Let's use a shotgun to kill this laddie. Oh, heal up, heal up. Don't die, die don't die, don't die. Nice. Huge. Oni, what's up, homie? I think I can get the kill with Bogax Rampage here. Two, three, four. Huge. What did he give me? He gave me a chopper. You gotta be kidding me. I'm not using the chopper. It's simply not happening. Alright, we're looking A. Okay, five points. And you know where those five points are going. Silence the voices. Plus 250% melee damage. Plus 12% self-attack chance. But we can also slap on a class mod that gives us plus five in Sounds of the Voices for a grand total of 500% melee bonus damage. That's a lot of damage. Let's hop over here. Hopefully we don't die. And we're looking for a better class mod that gives us plus six Sounds of the Voices. And a better grenade as well. Let's see. Nope. A long arm. Nope. Okay, we're going to try to get back over without dying. In base game, I'm farming the world burn for that DPS bug as well. What is the DPS bug? The save quit DPS bug on Salvador. All right, what do we got? An aim shot, stiff rod, a TMP, a, a cannon? No. How about we shoot this bad puppy and we shoot that bad puppy and we get ourselves a giant oil can. That's game knowledge. Let's see, booster shield, a slag singularity could be good. A sticky longbow corrosive transfusion. Sticky homing shock transfusion is better. It's better. Let's go next. One more round and I get access to release the beast. All right, this is my second turkey attempt of the day. I do have a fire... Oh, the fire damage pistol here. And a fire damage droog, let's go. Do I want to slag him first? Maybe. So, operation slag, and then droog him down. We don't need to depend on our, our melee damage, but, I mean, we could. Let's do it. Let's. Oh, this guy's invincible for the first little bit, but I'm ready when he's not. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven attacks with no self hits, and the and the waddle gobbler goes down. That's pretty large. Pretty large, if you ask me. Now, what do we get? Captain Blade's manly man shield, a lightning bolt, a Laco, an orphan maker. I mean, we like the orphan maker. Here's a question, though, about the Orphan Maker. I know it does self-damage, but here's the question. It doesn't do a lot of self-damage, and does it do... Does it does it damage my... Uh, does it damage my HP? I'm not sure. But the Orphan Maker is a really nice shotgun. Okay, Release the Beast is activated now. I'm going to go for the left side tree instead of the right side tree, I think. For Buzz Axe, Bombardier, and Blood Explosion. Let's go next. An Orphan Maker could be what we're looking for. What's up, Michael? Let's let's hit the box. What is this trash? A Thunderball Fist and a Gunnerang? We'll hit the box one more time. Oh, look at those shotties. A Carnage and a Flacker? I mean, we could do it. Yes, okay. Come on, Sickle. Ah, uh, that sucks. Mm. I was really hoping for a Legendary Sickle class mod. I was really hoping for a Topnia. Is what it is. Alright, let's design our character. Alright, here we go. Never hit Creek. He's looking dapper. Alright, time to go fight a raid boss. Uh, we don't have Blood Explosion, so Pyro Pete might be a bit of a... Pro okay. We have some Cromorax. We have a lot of melee damage. The key here is to let our health go below 33% and then get up and start smacking them. 
What's going to be our weapon of choice? Uh, Orphan Maker. Orphan Maker. Orphan Maker. Orphan Maker, Double Droog, and a Bandit Launcher. Let's do it. Sonic Cromrax, Tier 1. I'm kind of happy to get this one because then I might have I might be able to get Blood Explosion for Tier 2. Even though I'm not very good at Blood Exploding, Pyro Pete. What up, homie? Come on, do some damage to me. Oh, you don't want this work. Yeah, you don't want the work. Trust me. Huge. Now you're doing some damage. Not enough, though. I have to, I have to do some self-damage. With this Orphan Maker. Maybe I can get... Maybe I can get him into his... Uh... Here we go. Now you're doing some deeps. One more hit. Rampage time. Huge. Okay, he's invincible. Very nice. See if Arcid. We can use an Orphan Maker against these guys, most likely. Oh, okay. We also can let them get me down. I forgot that I get um, Release the Beast right back up right away. Come on, you guys. Put me down. Well, not put me down, but put me below 33%. Get my instant recharge and then just swing and kill everybody. Gone. Yeah, and once you get to this point with Krieg, you end up just one-shotting everything in the game. Even Kramorax. He really isn't in his, uh... There we go. I thought he would be going invincible already, but... That's fine. There, now he's going invincible. A little bit chaotic, but we're doing fine. Imagine if I had Blood Explosion. Huge. Yeah, I mean, this is when Krieg is at his absolute strongest, in my opinion. Is tier one raid boss after getting released the beast. This is when he's this is when he's absolutely unstoppable. In order for Maker to boot, the highest damage shotgun in the entire game. Let's go. Come on. Do some deeps to me. Get more towards the center. Don't let any of these Varkas level up, because then they actually get pretty annoying. You guys gonna do some deeps, or what? Yeah, the the Orphan Maker does do self-damage to you, even when your shield's down. Okay, oh, make sure I... Make sure I use my ability here. I can't see, the sun is in my eyes. Alright, now you didn't take some big damage. Okay, he goes invincible. Hopefully he doesn't stay that way. I've, I've had a bug with Axiom before where he stays this way. And when I was and it was when I was doing some big deep, so hopefully the bug does not resurface. Rear its ugly head. Yeah, this is why they're annoying. Because they start flying around and I can't kill flying enemies as easily. But getting that little bit of self damage uh, with the shotgun is actually kind of helpful. All right, let's do some. Gr let's do some. Oh, here we go. This should be the end of the boss. Go over here. No, come on. Please come back. Ow! Of course I self damage, bro. There we go. Raid boss down. Very nice. Hit tab. We got the punch E. When do? When do? I mean. I don't know what the punch... Does anyone know what the punchy special effect is? Because that seems like... Probably... This could be a best-in-slot shield for me in the entire game. I'm excited. Let's go. This could, that could be what I need. A bada-boom. A bada-boom. Let's go. It start, things are starting to make come together a little bit. If nobody knows what the uh, what the special effect is, I might I might Google it. All right, what you got for me? 
Oh, well, I don't want to skip that one. Let's go. Yes, explosive damage. Uh, the max health is really helpful, though. Long bro, but I like the Breath of Terror Morphers. It's, it's a fun grenade to use. You throw it at you throw it at the ground, then these like little terramorphous like fireball things come up from the ground. Oh a fabled tortoise. I mean we're not taking it, but it could be funny. Go next. It does not have one? It doesn't have one, it's just okay. So it's just okay, watch this guys. What's up, Danny? Oh, Danny Anderson. What's up, homie? Watch this. This one's for you, Danny. Okay, never mind. Okay. Okay, this, okay I want to point out that this is harder on Krieg than it is on any other character. Because of because he's tall and heavier. But I know the pattern. Right? Left? No! So it's right. 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 Left. Dude, it's so much harder on Krieg than every other character, and I always get it when I'm playing Krieg. Jump. Left. Right. Right. No! What a... What a... What a whiff. That's okay. Right. Right. Left. Right. Left. Left. Right! Oh my gosh, why is it so much harder on Krieg? Left. Right. Right. How did I guess that one wrong? Right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, finish. Let's go. Very, very nice. I haven't seen Danny Anderson since the, uh, since the MW2 days. Welcome to the superior game, Borderlands 2. Alright, here we go. So the punchy, no special effect. That's okay, though, because it, it's still... I mean, it's an absolutely ludicrously high roid damage shield. That's what I'm talking about. And an orphan maker to boot. Let's see, override cooldown, explosive damage... Nope, we already have an explosive damage relic. And... To be fair, we're not really we don't have too much explosive damage right now, but when we start when we start getting into some some more skills, we will have lots of explosive damage. All right, get over here, brother. Me against you. I need you to do. I need you to do some more damage. Oh, how did I miss that? Spin around. Later, kid. Or if you make her me. Until they put me down to a certain threshold, I'm just gonna keep Orphan Makering. And no, I'm in no rush. Later. Get Roy damaged. Later. Now a Slag Moxie weapon would be really, really nice for us. I've been going uh, to the top side here before going to the bottom side more often. I find it easier to farm the whole stage if I do it this way. That way I don't have to sprint all the way around. I can just jump off the cliff a little bit faster. A little bit more efficient. Alright, unless you guys are going to put me down below one third, I'm just going to keep or over makering. This is your chance. There we go. You guys finally did it. But now you're going you're gonna to wish you hadn't. Just saying. Again, the reason, I'm sure most of you guys know this, but the reason we're going down below one-third before activating Buzz Axe Rampage is that it, it resets the cooldown and gives us more... I believe it's more melee damage and damage resistance. Let's really read, read it. Yeah. You, you receive increased melee damage, receive um, significant damage reduction. That's 50% base damage reduction, universal damage reduction. And I get a reset on the Buzz Axe Rampage. So don't speak to me. <laughs> I, even if I get a quad, it's probably gonna be less. It's gonna be less powerful than an orphan maker. 
And what you got for me? Again, we're looking for class mods. That's a Hulk. No, it's a double barrel. That's going to be a pounder. I'm, I'm trying to learn the names of all the weapons. At least all the shotties because they're easier to identify. All right. Jump down here. Two more red chests and four more enemies. Yeah, Sale does have so many bugs. Salvador is a really buggy character because he can hold two weapons. The oh, class mods, nice. Let's see. Yes, that's an upgrade. Let's go. So I've got now I've got empty the rage and sounds the voices. Get out of my head. The idea is that Krieg has a, a has split personality disorder. And one of them is like a really nice guy who's like, he's just trying to, you know, like mind his own business and make it in the world. And the other one just wants to kill everything in sight and really likes meat and, and poop. So that, so Krieg is hitting himself in the head to like get, he either it's the bad one trying to get rid of the good one or the good one trying to get rid of the bad one. I'm not too sure. I'll see you later. Here's, is, is my class mod a... Is it plus six sounds the voices? No, it's plus five sounds the voices. I could go for a plus six. There's no reason if you're if you're gonna put one point in sounds the voices, there's no reason not to put eleven because at one point you you get the base twelve percent chance to hit yourself, and each time you get another point, it doesn't increase. So, uh, we don't need extra melee damage. Man, the BO3 Krieg DLC is so sad. Yeah, I mean, I didn't really pay attention to the story because BO3 story. But, yeah, it is sad. I like the final boss fight. Final boss fight was dope. And I farmed Evil uh, Brick and Evil Mordecai forever while I was playing Moe's because they drop the... Uh, they drop a class mod that's really, really good that gives you... 100% universal damage scaling. All right, this looks like I'm just gonna let them hit me. It's a tough zone. We don't want to be using Bloodaxe Rampage as much as possible. No one shot. If I had 24% bonus melee damage, I maybe would have been a one shot. Oh, I did get him through that. That's crazy. Anyone else? See you later. The punchy's kind of popping off. Let's go. And now, I can, now that I have increased magazine size, I can use the uh, the Orphan Maker a lot of times in a row, which can help me uh, manage my HP. Orphan Maker kind of busted on Creek. So watch. So I've got my magazine size is enormous, right? Oh, not not enormous enough though. Apparently. Let's see. I'm still looking for an upgrade. But that's exactly what I'm looking for. Plus six sounds to the voices. So now, now I get plus 550% melee damage in the same self strike chance. Not bad. Yo, JV, what's up? Yo, okay, so you came in at a good time. I'm at, I'm at plus six sounds to the voices, tier two. Melee Krieg. You missed the gauge run. I'm sorry. Terra Morphus actually killed us because usually Terra Morphus only strikes once or twice before dropping back down, allowing us to heal. But he just keep, the dude just kept swinging. Like he just refused to stop swinging. Oh, that's that's a self that's a self hit. One more self hit, we might have gone down there. Oh, these uh the hot loader is is my is my nemesis on Creek. Not only does he do fire damage, which is very effective against my red health bar, but also if you melee him to death, he explodes with for giant fire damage and can instantly put you down. Gotta make sure we use our range attack against those laddies. Now, what I do want, what I do want to get is the relic. So I need to find the elevator to get this relic. Still sad Maya and Krieg don't get to see each other because she died. It is true. Dude, don't even get me started on the whole... Maya death. That's such lame. The biggest question is, can we overcome the self-hurt for the victory with Krieg? Yeah, that's the biggest question. You're absolutely right. Let's see. Pistol damage. Okay, this is exactly what we were looking for. Plus 41% melee damage and melee override. Let's go. Now, typically you would think, okay, 
This weapon gives us plus 50% melee damage, but because of the way melee scaling works on Krieg, it doesn't actually give us bonus damage, which is ridiculous. All right, one point in Buzzax Bombardier. And I would typically go strip the flesh, but I want to keep going down this skill tree. So we're going to take Fuel the Blood. Go next. I already like Krieg gameplay-wise, and the DLC made him my favorite Vault Hunter. Yeah, honestly, he was my favorite Vault Hunter. JV in chat is my brother, and when we when we got the DLC characters for the first time, he played Gage and I played Krieg. And at first, I was like, I, I, Krieg kind of sucks. But once I got released the beast, like I, I felt like I was one-shotting everything. My brother like was trying to help kill stuff. Like I just killed everything so fast for like the entire playthrough. Like I don't know, I felt like I was stealing all the kills. I need to do some self damage. That's my only way I'm gonna be able to kill this ultimate badass. Oh, ow, ow, ow! No, two self hits. Okay, let's go. Me against the ultimate badass. No self hits, 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 no self hits. Let's go. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, I'm not going. I'm not gonna go fire damage, Craig, this time around. It's it's. For lack of a better term, it's burned me too much. I've died too many times to my own self. Now, the Orphan Maker doing some self-damage with the larger magazine size is something that we like. Let's go. Do we, do we, can we kill this guy from afar? Yeah, two self-hits in a row is so cringe. Like, two self-hits in a row is, oh, like, right there. Ow, ow, ow. Not three, not three. Let's go. No, two self hits in a row is run under. It it can absolutely 100% be a run under. Whoa, these missiles are ow. Hey, you, you go ahead and hit me a couple times. That's fine. Oh, what a one shot, huh? Let's go. Super nice. Yeah, hitting yourself multiple times in a row on Krieg is 100% run ending. You gotta think about what are the chances. Yeah, but you need the skill so badly. Yeah, it's true. It sounds the voices is so is so pivotal. Now, most of the time I'd like to take um you would think you want to take blood trance because it increases your uh Buzzax rampage duration. But you're actually kind of vulnerable when you're in Buzzax Rampage. That being said, though, maybe one or two points. Maybe I should do it. I, I almost never do it. Yeah, Krieg is that kind of character where they're like, yeah, you could very easily kill yourself. It's like, it can just happen. Oh, Borderlands symbol right there. Is what it is. Oh, if, if you get to, if you hit yourself three times in a row, it's probably GG. Might as well call it. I think a singularity could be a slag singularity could be good for us. Okay, let's go. Rampage time. The big sleep. Let's go. Oh, I've hit myself. I've definitely hit myself three times in a row before. Definitely possible. Go down. Oh, there's one self hit. Here we go. Sandman. Huge. So you just gotta be really careful when you're playing Krieg. Because if you're not careful and you and you're throwing melee attacks that are hitting nothing, not only are you hitting nothing. But you're also risking self hits. So you got to make sure that every swing has a purpose. Every swing on Krieg needs to have a purpose. Extended buzz uh, rampage duration helping us out a little bit here. But again, you don't really need it. All right, let's see. Explosive. Yeah, I mean, strip the flesh. Crunch class mods are good. Do we need reload speed? Do we need reload speed? I don't think so. I wish Punchy had a longer recharge delay. It's, it is always better for Roid shields. Uh, it, it's recharge delay is 2.21. However, I do get 
a flat 2.5 extra seconds of um, recharge delay because I'm playing Krieg. So it isn't so bad, especially if I'm charging enemies and they're hitting me. Why I'm going for weapons, I'm not too sure. Or for this extra red chest, I'm not so sure, but... All right, let's go next. Not gonna shoot the shovels, whatever. Dragon Keep. Hopefully this guy doesn't end my run because he's ended one of my runs before by one-shotting me, but I'm watching it back. He sent this giant ball of something into the air right before one-shotting me, so it kind of explains why he was able to do that. Come on, you guys. Which one's the real one? Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. Oh, so it's that one back there. Oh, found you, brother. Come on, you guys go ahead and put my health bar down. Let's see how much damage I can do to this handsome sorcerer in both sides page. Two. Shield gone. Oh, I can do big deeps. All right, two hits in a row to myself. Hopefully, we don't get a third. There's three. Okay, good. Ooh, that was close to being a run under. All right. Increase both X duration. Let's go. Me against you. Get a kill. Huge. Side note. Oh, hey, you're enjoying the Raven's Watch content. Good, good, good. Yeah. Very nice. I like the Raven's Watch content as well. Super fun. I'm all, uh, my plan for the channel is always to have, always be trying out new games. Uh, and that way, like, I want to have one game that's that's good for the channel, that's good for growth, good for views, all that. But always be, always be pursuing other fun games that I like. And that way I don't always have to be fishing for the highest possible view counts. I can just play what I think is fun. If I get right below this guy, I get infinite melee range, so let's get right below him. Easiest demonic sorcerer run of all time. And I appreciate, Krieg, you not hitting yourself a million times right there. Also, what is your favorite DLC main or side in BL2? What is your favorite DLC main or side in BL2? Do you, by main DLC, do you mean like the, the four main and the sides are like the headhunters? Um, I'm going to say... Oh, here we go. Here's some weapons. A twister. A lady fist. Okay, wait. So the... The Lady Fist gives me crit damage, right? That should that should help me with my... I'm gonna drop some stuff. All right, y'all ready? Boom. To answer the question, which DLC is my favorite? I would say... Tiny Tina's Assault on Dragon's Keep... is my favorite. Now, I think the Lady Fist is 800% critical damage, and I can get critical strikes. So I think this would be a good weapon to hold. That was a nice... That was a really nice weapon drop. Oh yeah, snow. But for headhunter, I mean the snowman. The snowman fight up on its own. Snowman fight on its own is good enough to call it my favorite um, headhunter. All right, looks like we're gonna be raid boss bound. Hopefully, we can do this. And so much loot, true. Now, what I what I think I want to do is get a little bit of a respec in my life. And there are some points that I no longer need. Like fuel the rampage, no longer need it. So I can I can make better use of my skills. Uh, salt the wounds, sounds the voices. Release the beast. Now blood filled guns. Taste of blood. Buzzax Bombardier. Heal the blood. We're going to go Bloody Revival. It might be a hot take. But Blood Revival, I think, could be good for us. Because we're going to run a, a, a toothpick while in fight for my life. Bada bing, bada boom. Now. We can go Embrace the Pain, which will increase my fire rate when my shields are down. That'll be good. A couple pulls of the box, and we'll be set. Let's go. Come on. Mm. Overcompensator and a Texas Striker. What I'm really looking for is a Legendary Psycho class mod. 
Okay, that's an impaler and a black hole. No, I'm good. Oh, also top near, top near. Good call out. Let's see. A homing pandemic. No top near. That's that's sad. Let's take some more grenades. Grenage. And we can go next. I think the lady fist is gonna be good, because I think it's gonna give us extra crit damage. Alright, Terramorphus, we can do this. This is this is for what you did to my gauge. The toothpick's gonna be nice here though. If I go and fight for my life, I might be able to get the kill just with the toothpick. How much extra gun damage is it per stack? If I'm at 100 stacks, this is gonna give me 150% bonuses heart rifle damage. With a toothpick, that could be good. My gauge one was popping off. I didn't have a North Fleet though. JV says, I was playing Borderlands the Presequel last week. Story is fun and skills are interesting, but I didn't uh, really. Oh, hold on. The, some of the messages covered up. Few and far between. What, what about the weapons is few and far between? Oh, get, get Lady Fences, brother. Oh, the weapons are boring. Okay. The weapons are boring. I mean. Are they? The laser weapons were always fun. Come on, come back. Come back while I have Buzzax Rampage up, brother. Eat some of that. Come on, give me some swings. Ow. Not those kinds of swings. Okay, they're doing, that's actually pretty good damage. What was my base game run through? My very first base game run through in. Uh, don't go down. My very first base game run through in Borderlands 2 was with Maya. And I had a fantastic time. I had to get a kill on something else. There we go. Oh, what a clutch. What a clutch kill right there. Again, when you're in Buzzax Rampage, you're a little bit vulnerable. Hopping in and out is much more effective. Oh, what was my favorite base game run through? My favorite base game run through was probably my first ever Krieg run through. To be honest with you. Oh, make sure that we press Buzzax Rampage here. Gonna get a couple of extra... I like how I can hit him a couple of times while he's still falling. There we go. Tier 2 down. Now, this is what I'm worried about, though. Krieg, Tiers 1, Tiers 2, not worried. Tier 3, a little bit worried. Let's see. Chance to absorb any bullets. Now, we're gonna stick with the punchy. Oh, a different punchy. Less Roy damage, though. Very nice. Let's go tier three. I'm worried about tier three a little bit. But if I can get a Krieg win, I'll be happy, boy. Don't fall. That's fine. No falling here. This is a nice zone. Good textures. Good custom map. Jump up. Very nice. They give you the laser weapon right at the start, and throughout the game, they lose its flare. Oh, that's a good point about the first sequels, that the laser weapons are super cool, but they're oversaturated. You know what? That... That... I, I, I definitely respect that opinion. I mean, to me personally, I was using laser weapons on Nisha. I know you remember. I was using laser weapons on Nisha to one-shot everything, so they, they definitely got oversaturated for me. But I agree. Laser weapons are cool, a little oversaturated. Getting it, getting one so early on in the game makes it makes it kind of lose its luster. All right, let's see. I already have a really good class mod. Yeah, that's exactly what, plus six sounds. The boys is plus five. Empty the rages. Don't we'll we'll beat the dragons. Don't worry. And by don't worry, I mean be worried because the odds of us beating the dragons, <laughs> uh, we can do it. <laughs> now let's go. I mean, we need to get ourselves a ruby or something. Something. This lady fist will help, I think. Because you can get you can get crit melee strikes. Oh, they're doing lots of damage. Okay, you're gone. Get blood exploded. I think at this point. Oh, I dropped my explosive damage relic anyway. I can't even. Ex I was gonna say let's put on our explosive damage relic. 
It doesn't even matter. I think a, a rapier would be my number one weapon. I would love a rapier or a law and order combo. Law and order combo, the original way to heal yourself uh, with melee strikes in Borderlands 2. I liked it better when it was like that. I liked it better when the law and order was like you had to use both in order to get the melee healing. Made it feel more special, more difficult. But, but like, like just just using a moxie weapon with a blade, like I don't know. Feels a little bit worse to me. Hey, go down, brother. A throw throwing the throwing the buzz axes seems to be just a little bit more effective, just because uh, you don't have the chance to hit yourself. Just like that. <laughs> True. All right, a chopper or a boom puppy? Oh, boom puppy! Yes! Yes! Let's go! Get out of my inventory. <laughs> Never again. Right, let's take some increased embrace the pain, some increased fight for my lifetime. Now what? I think increasing the duration. Oh, the boom puppy? Okay, here's what happened with the Boom Puppy, okay? I had a perfect axe and run going, assault rifle, magazine size, massive explosive damage, and the Boom Puppy dropped for me, and I was like, this is perfect. It's a tiny Tina assault rifle like this, and it was actually on this stage, this Tundra Exp Express stage, where I tried it for the first time, and it literally did negative damage for me. Maybe I was using it wrong, but I tried it once more after that, still was trash, never going back. Oh, let's go, homie. Me against you. Don't hit myself. There we go. I don't really need to be risking it, though. I can just go for tosses instead. Oh, what a whiff. There we go. One hit, one strike. Toss. Huge. Yeah, if I, I, for me, for, like, those unique weapons, I'm not going to, I'm not going to force a unique weapon if I don't have a build for it, right? But if I have a build set up for it. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm taking a lot. Of, I'm hitting myself a lot here. If I have a build set up for it and it still is dog water, it lose, I lose all respect. Like, it's got to perform better. Simple as that. Oh, what's up, Nomad Tyrant? Krieg has a really good matchup against them. Okay, let's uh, let's use some cover here. Destroy that Nomad Tyrant. Kill this Juggernaut. Two, three without hitting myself. Jump across. Don't get by a train. Okay. All right, Blood Explosion should do some deeps there. There we go. That was a Blood Explosion chain. All right, so we didn't get Pyro Pete, which, which is like, it is sad because we are playing. Oh, Rough Rider. Okay, Rough Rider. Do we go Rough Rider or do we go Punchy? The Rough Rider was the one I used back in the day. Maybe Rough Rider for mobbing and Punchy for bossing. All right, let's take blood, blood, um, bloodlust stacks decrease less quickly, and blood trance. The Rough Rider, for those that don't know, I'm sure most people know here, but the Rough Rider gives us zero capacity, which is super nice. A bunch of max health and 20% flat damage resistance. Huge. One more point. Oh, where do I put it in? Uh, maybe killing an enemy with a bullet increases our... No. Weapon swap speed. Again, weapon swap speed will be nice for... If we go down, I can swap to the, uh, the toothpick faster. Let's go next. Immortal Woods. These guys take more damage from melee. I believe. But they definitely don't resist it. That I much that much I know. I've I have access to tiny Tina comms here. Get crit, brother. What now? My oh, nice club, brother. You don't stand a chance against me. Get blo oh, watch this blood explosion. We kill one and watch them all pop. Boom, see ya. Blood explosion goes crazy. Ultimate badass. Me against you. Me against you. Oh, you, you're messing with the wrong guy. 
Okay, I'm, wait, I'm messing with the wrong guy. I'm messing with the wrong guy. All right, maybe I can get a, a blood explosion here. Dude, these guys are just simply not dying. Okay, here's here's my first chance to see how this goes. Or just resist every one, every shot. Is he is he invincible during that phase or something? Yeah, these guys all go down. Huge. Come on, you gotta you got to show show me up so I can so I can't add a clip of you dying or add a clip of you dying. Listen, I'm not dying. There's gonna, there's gonna be no clip of me dying because I'm not dying. Simple as that. Come on, some tiny Tina comps. I'm not sure if any of them are gonna be that good for me, but I just want to see what they are. All right. Almost thought that was a mimic chest. I was getting ready to swing my ass off. Fifty-two percent. The max health so nice. Fifty-two percent. That's a good chunk. Rock salt or the Sharame. Okay, so the Sharame is our first weapon that heals us. But the melee damage. Hmm. I'm not, this okay. I'm not dying. It's not gonna happen. Okay, what do we want here? Let's take. Does this give us anything? No. It doesn't. So let's take reload speed for if we go into fight for our life. Again, we we're, we're getting so many points now just for fight for our life. It's kind of crazy. But we got we got to prep for the future. You know what I'm saying? All right, go ahead, do your thing, brother. Use your fire damage to put me down. How long is this gonna take? Oh, now you're doomed. Oh, two, two of them. Toss, toss. Later, friend. Not bad. I also wanna, I want a chance to shoot these radios. The radio number one, we're right there. Radio number two, hop down. Right here. Oh, we're going low. We activate. Oh, yeah, let's go. That Oh, the bus potion didn't kill that guy. That's okay. The toss. Oh, incinerator Clayton. What's up, homie? Me against you? Mm, I like those odds. Remington's edge. I sleep. Later. Uh, let's run up here so we can get the final radio. Ow, I just got slagged. And I'm nowhere near any enemies. Oh, yes, I am. I'm round one. I like how uh, when you use release the beast, when you release the beast is going down and you have that invincibility, you get one more, uh... You get one more attack off, which is nice. Destroy some barrels just so I don't die. Just some barrel shenanigans. I can kill one of these guys. Blood potion should kill the other one. There we go. Blood spot. No, it, it doesn't kill. That's okay. Yeah, I have a decent range. Decent range damage with Kareek, to be honest with you. If I had increased explosive damage, it'd be even higher. Get, get blood exploded. Huge. Does this count as a um, melee oh, range strike? No, it doesn't. Alright, three out of three radios. Huge. Let's see. Atopnia. Good. Plasma caster. How many Malocos did I get right there? Holy moly, brother. Legendary Reaper class mod. Or Legendary Torch. No, neither. Sorry. Let's take... Killing enemy with a bullet increases your melee damage and reduces grenade fuse time. Or killing enemy with a grenade or explosion increases your gun damage. I think that's going to be good. Because if I'm killing stuff with grenades and explosions and stuff, uh, that's going to increase my gun damage. So when I go in a fight for my life and have my toothpick, it's going to do some good de good deeps. Yeah, no legendary sickle. Sorry, Frank. I, w I wanted it for you, brother. All right, let's go next. Uh, don't worry, I'm getting a legendary sickle from the box. It's not going to be an issue. Legendary sickle would go crazy. 
All right, Lady Fist. A few extra crit damage. Open up. Come on now. All right, let's go. Me against Smash Head. Oh, he's low. I haven't hit myself yet. I'm due. I'm due for a self hit. I'm due for a self hit. I'm due for a self hit. I need one kill on something else. Thank you. Um, I'm still good on HP. Just gotta wait for it to go a little bit lower here. Good. Again, when, I, when I'm at that point, I just stare at my HP bar. Okay, easy fight. Easy smash head fight. Tier 3 is actually going pretty easy. Not gonna lie to you. Alright, while we're waiting for this to... to uh... The, the candy that dropped are cracked. Yeah, especially the Jolt candy, the green one. Unfortunately, the dragons only spawn like three total mobs to kill. I'm just nervous about the dragon fight. I am. All right. What you got for me? A transformer, a neo gen. I think a neo generator might. I don't know. A peak opener. I think a peak opener is going to be better for me than a toothpick at getting back up. Wildcore Blaster, Deliverance, Transformer. I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, is the Neo Generator going to be better than, the, than a Punchy? It's going to be better than a Rough Rider. I don't think so. It's going to be up all the time. I'm not going to get... No, I'm not going to get the value that I want out of it. Oh, what's in there? What's in there? It's Rainbow. It's Rainbow. Infection Cleaning. No, I'm good. All right, here we go. F2 me. If I doubted dragons, I have to say you were right. Maybe. But we're, we're, you're, ta you're talking hypotheticals that are never actually going to happen. All right, legendary sickle, please. That's not a depot. Oh, it is a depot. Crazy. All right, so what I really want to be having now... Oh, what is that? What is that? What is that? Hide of Terramorphous. When depleted, melee attacks deal bonus roid damage. Releases a Nova Blast when depleted. Is the Hide of Terramorphous better than the Punchy? It's more roid damage. By a lot. We're, we'll do it. Let's go. The Gub. The Hammer Buster. All right, one more pull of the box. Legendary Sickle. Here it comes. Oh, here we go. Come on. No. Dude, never rewarded. Never rewarded. All right, so what I want to have is two um two assault rifles. That way if if it's the if it's the blue dragon on the ground, I can use the toothpick, and if it's the red dragon on the ground, I can use the peak opener. Look at us. Okay, come on now. This is the run. This is the run. Come on, dragons. I Ask me the questions, gatekeeper. I am not afraid. <laughs> I'm really afraid. All right. Let's put the let's put the let's put the blue one down first. Come on. Come on, blue one. Come down to the ground. Come down to the ground, brother. Oh, okay, I already have to activate this. Okay, he lands. Oh, he's not taking much damage. Two. I do nothing to this guy. But I... Come on. No, no, no self-hits. No self-hits, brother. All right, toothpick me. I can't prepare for this. That's not doing anything. This is the only way. This is the only way. Keep meleeing, brother. I'm not going to make it. No. No. Oh. No. <laughs> oh, it's so sad. Oh, GG.